Hey everyone, this is Aditi from Adelicious and today I'm going to be sharing one of my mom's recipe of an eggless date and walnut cake which is such a hit in our family. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. The ingredients and quantities will be listed down below in the description box. So we start off with prepping our dates. The dates I'm using here today are not very firm and not very soft. They're somewhere in between. De-seed the dates, chop them into pieces like this. And now we'll soak the dates in some hot water for about 30 minutes till the dates become nice and soft. Cover the bowl and keep it aside for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, when the dates are nice and tender, we'll strain out the excess liquid using a strainer into another bowl. We'll reserve this liquid because it has a lot of date flavor which we'll use in our cake later on. Before we start making our batter, let's preheat our oven at 180 degrees Celsius. Let's start off with our wet ingredients. Here I have some room temperature butter. Today I'm using homemade butter which is nothing but over beaten cream which turns into butter. So this is actually a good recipe if you accidentally turn your cream into butter. You don't need to turn your cream into butter, you can use regular butter instead. But it should be at room temperature. Put the butter into the mixing bowl. To the butter, add in the condensed milk. We are not using sugar in this recipe because the condensed milk as well as the dates will provide us the sweetness. Now using my hand blender or even a wooden spoon, beat together the butter and the condensed milk for about a minute till it's nice and smooth. Let's move on to the dry ingredients. In a bowl, sift together the all-purpose flour, the baking powder, the baking soda, and the salt. If you are using salted butter, then please skip on the salt. Sift the dry ingredients together so that no lumps remain. Now it's time to fold the dry ingredients into the wet ingredients. We'll add the flour to the condensed milk mixture in two additions. Add half of the flour and gently fold it till it's well incorporated. Don't over mix the batter else it'll make the cake tough. Add the last part and again fold it. This time fold in the flour but it should not be completely mixed. You should still be able to see a little flour. Now it's time to add in our date mixture. Add the prepared dates to the cake batter along with the walnuts. Reserve some to sprinkle on top. Now gently fold in the dates and the walnut into the cake batter making sure you don't over mix the batter. My batter is a little thick so I'll add in the reserved date liquid into the cake batter. Here I add about a tablespoon. Mix in the liquid and check the consistency should be something like this. I forgot to add in the vanilla earlier but you can add it now or while beating the condensed milk and the butter. Time to prep our mold. I'm using a 4 by 8 inch loaf tin to make my cake today but you can use a round or a square mold. The baking time would vary, that's it. So into the bottom of the pan, I put some oil and a piece of parchment paper at the base. Now you add in the cake batter to the mold, flatten it out a little, add in the reserved walnuts on top, Elka give us the nice crunchy top. Tap the mold a few times to release any air bubbles in the cake. Now it's time to bake the cake in a preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius for about 55 minutes to an hour. The time would depend on the size of the cake mold you're taking. If you feel that the cake is browning too much and is still not done, just put a piece of foil on top and bake it till it's done. After about 55 minutes, check on the cake. You know it's done when a skewer inserted in the center comes out clean like this. And now leave the cake to rest for about 10 minutes till it's cool to handle. After 10 minutes, run a knife around the sides of the cake, it'll make it easier to release. Tip the cake on a clean kitchen towel and remove the baking paper, in my case it was stuck on the pan. Keep the cake on a wire rack and let it cool completely before cutting into the cake. Now my cake is cool and it's time to serve. Using a serrated knife, cut nice slices of the cake and you're ready to serve it with a cup of coffee or even milk. This cake is so delicious and moist and the dates give it a nice dark color which is amazing. Please give this recipe a try. I'm sure it will be a hit in your family as it is in mine. 
Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, comment and share this video. See you again. Bye.